All right, Shalom. <clears throat> Shalom. Kahalayim la, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Must peace, love, and salutation to the brothers doing this work in truth and in sincerity. Shalom. This is the brother Batak back again through the Spirit with another lesson. Lord willing, it be edifying. This is the book of 2nd Edges, chapter 2, verse 13. Uh, the title of this lesson is going to be Pray for a Few Days. So, Second Edges chapter two, verse thirteen. It says, "Go and go, and ye shall receive. Pray for a few days unto you, that they may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. So, pray for a few days unto you. That also goes into hastening the day of the Lord. We want the day, the evil days, to come to pass. So, you know." The good things can fall. The good things can come upon uh, the nation of Israel ultimately as a whole. Because as you as you know, the scripture says that they're redeeming the times for the days of evil. We right now we're living in an end end of an age, the end of Esau's age. Um, bear with me, bear with me. In the scripture, why it's hot on my brain. There it is, Ephesians. So. We're living in the end of Esau's age, his era, and these days that are coming upon us are nothing but evil. Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. Lord, we'll not get that scripture next. Um, we're praying for fewer days. We're hastening the day of the Lord. We want it to come to pass. We want the days to be shortened. Like the scripture says, if the days wasn't shortened, no flesh would be saved. No flesh be saved. Because there's all kinds of evil going on in the earth, and it's consuming everybody. It's, it's demonic influence behind the activities of these people that live in the Babylon the Great. So we want all of this evil to come to pass because we know at the end of the day, once America is destroyed and the Lord fulfilled his word, what he proposed against a, a Babylon, a.k.a. America, he is going to establish his kingdom, which is going to be a righteous kingdom. You know, by his son, Yahweh Shah is going to establish that. And Yahweh Shah is going to return and help and aid in the destruction of Esau and Babylon, you know, so we want we want few. We're praying, praying for fewer days. We're praying that the time be shortened, because this is the scripture that backs it up. Mark thirteen and twenty says, and accept those days, oh, so like and accept that the Lord had shortened the, those days. No flesh should be saved, but for the elect's sake, whom He hath chosen, He hath shortened the days. So the Lord has shortened the days, the evil days, man. You know, these times as are coming, it's nothing but evil. And it's all kinds of uh, situations, you know, mayhem, disorder, dystopian order going on in Babylon the Great as as of right now. And it's all kinds of um, wickedness and evil going on all throughout the whole earth. So we, we were praying for fewer days so we can get to the kingdom of heaven. Ephesians 5 and 15 it says, see that. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Why? Why are we doing that? Why do we walk with our head on a swivel? Why do we pay attention to everything? Why do we pay attention to people's activities? Why do we pay attention to everything around us? Be circumspect of your surrounding and what's going on. Because, verse 16 is going to tell you, redeeming the time because the days are evil. We are living the days that the Lord is going to pour out his judgment upon our people. So if we want to be a part, if we don't want to be a part of that, we got to be, uh, we got to be very selective on what we do and how we do it and when we do it, you know, we got to, got to be circumspect, got to be watching, got to keep your head on the swivel, got to know what's going on, got to pay attention. We can't be walking around like, la, 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 you know, like, <laughs> like a, a Sunday walk, you know, because the days that we're living in are evil. Ephesians 5 and 15. NLT. It says, so be careful how you live. Don't walk live like fools, but like those who are wise. Make the most of your every opportunity in these evil days, right? Because the, the times is evil. Redeeming the time. Counting the times. Looking at the times. Looking at the news. You know? All right. So that Greek word, let's get it real quick. 
that was for the word redeeming. Strong's G, 1805. Exagarazzo. Exagarazzo. Exagarazzo, which means it says to redeem, to be by payment or price, to recover from the power of another, to ransom, buy off, metaphorically, of Hamashiach, freeing the elect from the dominion of the Messianic law at the price of his ritual's death, to buy up, to buy up for one's self, for one's use, to make wise and sacred use of every opportunity for doing good, so that zeal and well-doing are as it were the purchase, mo purchase money by which we may make the time or our own, right? To make wise and sacred use of every opportunity for doing good. And what is that? Doing the work. Following the law, statute, commandments to the best of our abilities. You know, put constantly in the spirit. It says, so that zeal and well-doing are it as it were the purchase money by which we make the, the time our own. We got to make the most of our time that we have. Rescue, it says, for you continue to rescue from loss to buy up ransom figuratively, improve opportunity. So we got to take advantage of all the opportunities that we have because remember, the days are evil. The days are evil. We got to redeem the times. Got to pay attention to the times. We got to make the most of it. Let's see another translation. BBE says, making, here it is. It says, uh, making good use of the time because the days are evil, right? So that backs up what I was saying through the spirit. Make got to make. We got to make the most of our time. In a, in a, in in at says taking advantage of every opportunity because the days are evil, right? So that's the mentality that we have to be in in these times. Um, let's go get Daniel twelve. So I don't forget Daniel 12 and 1 Because remember the days are evil Daniel 12 and 1 It says And at that time shall Michael stand up The great prince Which standeth for the children of thy people Which Michael the archangel Is going to protect It's going to be one of the angels That the Lord is going to uh, use To protect the nation of Israel It says And also Michael archangel Michael the archangel Is, a, is an archangel of war You know it says, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation. Even to that same time, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. So it's going to be get so bad out here that the Lord is going to have to send the angels to encamp and protect the elect men of this time. Isaiah, uh, Psalms 34 and 7 The angel of Yahweh encampeth round about him that feared him and delivered them Let's read the NLT It says for the angel of the Lord is a guard He surrounds and delivers all who fear him All that fear who? The heavenly father Yahweh You know Because our You know When I say our I'm speaking as an Israelite man In hopes of receiving it um, Our protection comes from the heavenly father Our security is in the Lord Not in nobody else because we know we understand According to what the scriptures tell us Our lives Are in the hands of the Lord And also good and evil Is is um, performed by the Lord On the left hand side or on the right hand side Because the Lord has good angels He has evil angels If you want to send evil angels at your ass He's going to send demons at you And the scripture says it So he's in control Isaiah 45 and 7 I form the light and create darkness This is the Lord telling you what he do He's, he's giving his his job description, if you will. Details, you know? It says, I make peace and create evil. So the Lord told you he creates evil. And who's created this evil that's coming upon America and that's happening as we speak and all this that's going on? He's using Esau on the left-hand side to create this evil. Because evil, Esau and his actions are heavily influenced by demonic activity. These devils, they're witches, they're warlocks. They worship the spiritual demon Satan. And who Satan works for? Satan works for the Heavenly Father Yahweh. So ultimately, the Lord is using the left hand side to um, do all of this evil and allow all of this evil go on in the earth. So the Lord, I'm going to read the NLT next. It says, I, Yahweh, do all these things. Let's read the next verse right next to it, the NLT. It says, I create the light and make the darkness. I send good times and bad times. So what good times is going to come once America is destroyed and the kingdom of Yahshua Allah. Uh, spearheaded by Yahweh Shah is established That's when the good times are going to be Right now we're living in bad times Which is evil, bad times man 
The times that we're living in are evil. They're bad. There's 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 roars and rumors of wars. There's all kinds of calamities coming down. You got that that new pandemic, the BF, the B I R D F. You know, that's that's another pandemic. Possibly, who knows? Um, what else? You got earthquakes in diverse places. You got all kinds of protests that's getting out of hand. You know, which you know this could be set up. Most likely, it's set up by these devils because they want to create chaos. They want disorder, you know. And then that movie um, Civil War just came out, and now you got all these protests all over these were all over the U.S. in these different uh, um, at these different uh, universities. So there's a lot of things going on. You got Russia, uh, uh, Poland telling the the NATO that they want to host their ho their weapons. You got Russia saying if you give them weapons, we're going to destroy Poland. The tensions are high in the earth right now. There's so much going on. You really can't keep up with all the events that's going on. It's so much going on because there's so much evil going forth. And the Heavenly Father is bringing it. Because he has the purpose to destroy Babylon. That's what he's going to do. So, going back, landing back, um, going back to the original scripture that inspired this lesson. You know, it's all through the Spirit. Um, I'm not sure what, why, but you know, it's, it's through the Spirit. I don't know why it popped in my head this this particular scripture. Second Edges 2 and 13. It says, Go and ye shall receive. Pray for a few days unto you that they may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. So we want the kingdom. We're ready for the kingdom, man. You know, but there's a lot of other things, events that have to happen before the Lord brings that. Jeremiah 8 and 8, 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against kingdoms, great kingdoms, and of, of war and of evil and of pestilence. So all of these things are going to that happen in uh, di different other captivities. It's going to happen to America. But this time, America's going to be even worse. America's going to be get dealt with the worse, according to what the scripture has said, Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. It's a time of testing, a time of trial. It's never been a time like this that's coming upon the earth. So that's why we're praying for fewer days. Pray for fewer days. Pray for a few days. You know, hasten the day. Let's look at that word hasten. The word hasten is a whole slot. Uh... Like the word hasten goes back to the word haste, which means hurry, make haste, urge, hurry along. Urgency. We want the Habashah to return with urgency. Because if he doesn't, there no there will no be flesh be saved. Because Esau is finished, like the scripture says, he's gonna be like a madman sparing none. He's gonna come down with wrath upon the nation of Israel. So all of these events that's happening right now in the earth is nothing but a prelude to what's to come. And it's only going to get worse, bro. The days is only going to get worse. Right now, it's, it's bad, but it's not really, like, real, real bad. Like, horrible. Society's still intact. They still got little events going on here and there. But it's not really as far as it's going to get, man. It's, this is this is just the beginning. Like Yah like Yahabashah said, these are the beginning of sorrows. This is only the beginning, man. I'm going uh, to see if I could get that. Let's see. Beginning of sorrows. Mark chapter 13 verse 5 I'm going to start at 5 it says, And Yahweh, and Yahweh shall answer them saying to I'm sorry let me, I'm a little excited Forgive me reading a little too fast Mark 13 and 5 says, And Yahweh shall answering them began to say Take heed lest any man deceive you Because right now there's a lot of deception going on In the nation of Israel You know with, Amongst those that know that are Israelites There's a lot of deception going on In the world period you know But it's even more of, of false prophets uh, that know that they're Israelites Mark 13 and 6 For many shall come in my name saying I am ha I am Hamashiach Which means I am anointed I am sent by the Lord I am a real man of the Lord I come in the true name of the God of the Bible If you will you know And shall deceive many And when ye shall hear of wars And rumors of wars Isn't that happen Isn't there uh, 
a proxy war going on right now between Israel and uh, Iran. These are proxies, you know. These are um, there's another proxy war going on right now between Russia and Ukraine, which NATO in uh, the United States is using uh, Ukraine as a proxy, sending them weapons. You know, there's a lot of that's been proxy wars going on in the, in in the Valley of Jehoshaphat for a long time. And when Iran struck Israel, that sent a message. Things got a little hot for a minute. And then Israel supposedly had struck back. But since then, ain't nothing happened. Because that's the, that's the war that we need to be watching. Also, what's going on in Ukraine, man. You know? So these are wars and rumors of wars. It says, but be not, be not troubled, for such things must needs be. But the end shall not be yet. For a nation shall rise against nation, right, race wars, and kingdom against kingdoms, and there shall be earthquakes in diverse places. That means in different places, strange places. There was an earthquake in New Jersey either beginning this month or late last month. You know, that's unheard of. It says, and there shall be famines and troubles. Right, that's, they're speaking about a famine now. Uh, I just seen the headline, Walmart is recalling a lot of its meat, its beef, because of that, that new pandemic that's supposed to be attacking the cows and the, you know the animals they just you know we know what's going on we know what's really going on man so all of a sudden they were calling all of these meat that what does that mean they're trying to bring a what a famine but don't worry the man of the lord that trust in the names of yahweh is gonna it's gonna be all right man. so we got to trust in the lord even more and more in these times that are these hard times that are coming it says and troubles and there shall be famines and troubles these are the beginning of sorrows so this is only the beginning man so that's all i wanted to get off of that so we are at the beginning of the end this is the beginning of the end and so with that lord willing this lesson was edifying um pray for fewer days pray for fewer days lord willing this lesson was edifying i believe that's all i had through the spirit um we we want to the end to come you know so we can um we can live Israel, you know, so we can live. And that's only going to come after America destroyed. We, it can't be not, it can't be two kings sitting on the throne, you know. Esau, Edom has to be taken out of power. And then America will, um, I'm sorry, then Israel will rule on the earth and subdue all of their enemies forever. You know, so with that, I'm going to give all praise and the glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who, and teach well. Was peace, love, and salutations to the brothers in this work and truth and sincerity. I want to say shalom.